Hi guys, welcome back to That Japan Life with me, Jill. In this video, I guide you through the process of making a money transfer using an ATM in Japan. Previously, I made a video about TransferWise. If you haven't seen that yet and would like to know the best way to send money from Japan, be sure to check that out. It's here. And in making that video, I realized that there might be some people who are interested in trying the service but are hesitant because they are not very familiar with how to do a money transfer. While many ATMs in Japan now come with English menus, the translations are usually reserved just for the basic functions such as deposits and withdrawals. Yes, making a wire transfer would most likely have you confront that dreaded Japanese side of the menu and could be a bit confusing. Unless, of course, you watch this video first and walk up to that ATM with all of the information that you need. So let's get started. Before heading out to make the transfer, make sure that you know all of the following information about the account that you are making the transfer to. Well, you don't really have to memorize this information, you could have it saved on your phone or even write it on a piece of paper, but be sure that you know them. So the first one is Ginko Me or Kinyukan Me in kanji, and this refers to the bank name or the financial institution name. So that could be something like JP Post, Mizuho, MUFJ, etc., etc. Next one is the Shiten Me, and the kanji is here, and this refers to the branch name. Another information you would need is the Koza Kamoku in kanji. And this refers to the type of account you're transferring to. And this would most likely come in three types. You have the Futsu, which refers to the regular account. And you also have Toza, which is the current or checking account. And lastly, it could be Chochiku, which is the savings account. Of course, be sure to also know the Koza Bango, which is the bank account number that you are transferring to. And lastly, the Koza Megi, which is the account name. With all of those information in hand, you can now head to your nearest ATM. And yes, of course, don't forget to bring your cash card or ATM card. By the way, if your transaction is time sensitive, note that most banks cut off time is at 3 p.m. on weekdays. This means that transfers made before 3 p.m. on a weekday would go through on the same day, but if your transfer was made after 3 p.m. or during the weekends, then it would go through on the next business day. Depending on which bank's ATM you would be using, take note that there might be slight differences in the terms used, the countries shown, and even the process of making the transfer. For this video, I am using the ATM of 7-Eleven. And even if you are not going to be using the 7-Eleven ATM though, I'm still confident that the information that you would learn here will help you through the process of making the transfer. But as I've said, I'll be using the 7-Eleven ATM. And the reason why I'm doing it is because I feel like it's the ATM that most viewers would probably have the access to. Honestly, it's not the cheapest option out there, unless of course you are a 7-Eleven bank user. But again, I feel like more people would have access to a 7-Eleven ATM and so that's the one that I'm using in this video. Now on to our step-by-step -step guide on how to make a bank transfer. Step 1. Insert your ATM card in order to access the banking options screen. Step 2. Choose the Kado Furikomi option that's the second from the top option on your right side when you're facing the screen. In other banks' machines, this might appear as Oforikumi or Gosokin. Step 3. This next screen warns you about possible fraud. If you believe there is a chance that you are being swindled and would therefore like to terminate the transaction, press on the Hide or Cancel button 
Otherwise, press the IE or confirm button in order to proceed to the next step. This display explains the fees for sending money. I think the fee structure from bank to bank differ and as I've mentioned, other banks' machines could be slightly cheaper than 7-Eleven. In the case of 7-Eleven machines though, remember that the fee depends on the following things. First one is the time you are making the transfer the banks involved, the amount of the transfer, and the type of account that you are sending to, whether it's a personal account or a corporate account. There is too much here to explain, so I will not get into the details. Just remember that the following situations would make your transfer fee more expensive. First one is sending your money outside of regular ATM hours. Yes, in Japan, ATMs have regular hours and that usually is from 8.45 a.m. to 6 p.m. So transferring outside of those hours would cost you more. Of course, sending money to non 7 Eleven accounts, transfers of more than 30,000 Japanese yen, and transferring to corporate accounts. The highest possible fee is 440 Japanese yen, and this is applicable for transfers that satisfy the conditions that will cost more, which I've mentioned earlier. If you are fine with the fees, then press the Kakunin or Confirm button on the lower right side. Step 5. Enter your PIN and the amount that you would like to transfer. When done entering the amount, you need to press the end button on the keypad not the screen. And then press the Kakunin or Confirm button to proceed. If you have made a transfer before, the next screen will show you a list of accounts you have made transfers to in the past. So all you have to do is just press the account you would like to make a transfer to. But since you're watching this video, I'm guessing this is your first time. So I'm going to be pressing the Atarashi Furikomisaki on the lower left side in order to enter the details of the account that I would like to make a transfer to. Step 7. Here, choose the bank or financial institution you would like to send money to. Remember that list of information I said you should know even before you make the transfer? Yes, this is where you start using that. The institutions that will be displayed initially are your own bank on top and the 7-Eleven bank on the lower left. If you are going to be making transfers to banks other than these, simply press the Sonota Kinyukan on the lower right to see more options. Step 8. Once you've chosen the bank, the next step is to choose the bank branch. You will need some knowledge of katakana here. If you are not yet familiar with katakana, I suggest you research this in advance. It's, it's really not that difficult though. Basically, what you have to do is just enter the first or first few katakana of the name of the branch that you're transferring to. For example, here I am transferring to the Ebisu branch. In katakana, that would be Ebisu. And as soon as I press E on the screen, then it will start to display all of the branches that start with E. Simple enough, right? Just be careful because just like in the case of this transfer, I did not automatically see the branch that I want. And that's because I needed to press the Tsugie button on the lower right in order to access more options. Once you've found it on the list, pick the correct branch. Step 9. Select the account type. Step 10. Key in the receiver's bank account number. Step 11. As a security measure, here, you're asked to enter your phone number with hyphens. Step 12. Following that, you will be presented with a summary of the details of your transfer. And the information from top to bottom are as follows. Receiver's financial institution, receiver's account number, receiver's name, transfer amount and processing fee, sender's name, and sender's phone number. If you need to change any of the information, Press the corresponding henko, that's the white button with an orange outline, on the right. If everything looks good, press the kakunin or confirm button on the lower right side. Step 13. This screen asks whether you would like to save the transfer receiver's information for future use. Select torokusuru on the left if you would like to and torokushinai on the right if you don't. Step 14. 
Lastly, you would be asked if you would like to make another transfer. That's the Renzoku Furikomi button on the left. Or if you would like to finish this transaction, that's the Shurio button on the right. And there you go. You have just successfully done a wire transfer using an ATM in Japan. Congratulations. If you found this video helpful, be sure to give me a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel where you would find more information that would surely make your life in Japan easier. Thank you.